What's up, guys? Rob D at Boiling Point LLC on Twitter, official Litecoin Lotto on YouTube. Really quickly, I'm going to try to blow this out two to three minutes. Well, probably more than that, four to five minutes. Let's look at the weekly. Let's take a quick look at a pattern from 2014, 2015. Let's look at some similarities that we have going on in this cycle. And we'll take a look at volume, take a look at RSI and see where we're at and where we could possibly be. So real quick, 2014, we peaked about 637 days prior to having this cycle, 609 days. We found the floor in 2015, somewhere around $8.83. We kind of flirted with that for a little bit before falling down and creating this, uh, this almost like a capitulation move here. So we had a nasty uh, diagonal downtrend resistance that we struggled to get up and over. Uh, you could see right around here, we had some accumulation, um, some sideways movement before pretty much running into that resistance and then capitulating down. Same thing in this, you know, in this cycle, we had some sideways movement, ran into it, crashed, you know, not crashed, but felt capitulated down. So the only thing we really didn't have this cycle is that second lower low on the price, which created some really nice bullish divergence on RSI. And then we kind of blew through it. But this year, this cycle, uh, we kind of just, you know, we came back up, tested some resistance, came back down. And then ended up punching through that diagonal resistance. We came back down, retested it, and then we've been in an uptrend since. We've actually been in this uh, parallel channel since December. So it looks really good right now. Um, let's take a look at the 50-week moving average. As you can see, we were it was kind of floating around in the blue box. That's the green line here. Let me change the color of it for you guys real quick. Um, all right, it's not lit. I can't get into settings right now, so. All right. So as you can see, it was kind of floating in that blue channel. This floated a little above the blue channel. Nothing too crazy, though. It's not going to be an exact, um, an exact mirror. And then uh, as the moving average came back down, we retested it right here. This weekly candle hit it, bounced down, uh, bounced around for a week, and then blew back up two weeks later, tested that old floor at 880. So if we have something like that happen again, we could potentially hit this 50-week moving average maybe this week or next week at right around 70 bucks. Um, maybe float for a week and then pop up and try to test this old floor somewhere Somewhere in the 107, 108 range. Somewhere around there. And same thing happened. We came back down. Retested that 50-week moving average. This was the week of halving. Uh, we got a bottom of around 240. Somewhere around there. Held above. Kept popping up. You know, kept retesting that 50-week moving average until we went parabolic into 2017 uh something like that now would look you know as i said come back come up touch this 70 dollar 50 week moving average move sideways maybe for a week and pop back up hit 108 come back down by then this moving average will probably be uh somewhere in the you know the 60 dollar range 55 60 dollar range somewhere around there um, we might get a wick down, you know, maybe to 48 bucks somewhere around there at ha at the week of having and then kind of float in this, you know, channel for a while and accumulate before having another, you know, huge upside. So volume, I'm looking for a really, really nice volume stick like we had here. Um, we're, we're, yeah, we're getting some nice volume. Um, it's definitely, as you can see from like the second week in November, all the way until now, we've definitely had some really, really nice weekly volume more, more than, you know, the most since February of 2018. 
so that's a good sign um, same thing with the 1415 cycle uh, we, we had a real real big sp spike in volume and I'm looking for that one weekly candle where it's just an astronomical amount of volume you know it's gonna be double or triple this it's gonna test the volume you know the volume heights of these three or four candles here and uh, we're gonna I think push to that 108 range so let's take a look at the RSI uh, that week where we touched mm, those those old highs in 2015 we went into over overbought areas and look where we're at now we're nowhere near we're still you know pretty much in a neutral range now 56 on the RSI so we have plenty of room to run there over the next several weeks and uh, you know it's gonna it's a nice exciting time for Litecoin we could potentially hit 70 bucks this week or next week and we could possibly see a hundred dollar Litecoin maybe by the end of March early April so let's see if this pattern plays out I will continue to update you guys of course it's not going to be an exact replica it's not going to mirror 2014 2015 because we didn't get that bottom so I'm not expecting the same exact thing to happen but um, this is you can't deny that these patterns look very similar so we will see what happens I would love to see a hundred and a hundred and ten dollar light coin again but won't we all uh, but that's it I will continue to update you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.